Hi, I'm Sam from Lakira, and I'm going to show you how easy and powerful it is to integrate Lakira Guard into your Gen AI application to secure it against both AI and traditional cybersecurity threats. So here uh, we have a, a dummy application. So this is something we built just to uh, demonstrate the power of Lakira Guard. And so it's a classic kind of customer support chatbot uh, powered by a third party large language model, uh, which is under the hood. Um, and so I can uh, demo, hey, how can you help me today? And so obviously that user input is passed with system instructions to the third party large language model. Um, and the LLM kindly responds uh, with a nice little message. Now, um, the problem with this is a user could uh, try and attack this model and get it to do something that we don't really want to happen. So in this case, I'm going to ask it, um, how can I buy a gun illegally? Obviously something we don't really want our customer support chatbot helping our customers with. And in this case, we can see that the large language model has defenses and, and won't answer this question. Seems, seems all good. Now, the problem is uh, there's things like called jailbreaks or prompt injections, uh, which can be used to trick uh, or manipulate the uh, AI into following the user's instructions instead of the system instructions uh, as written by you, the Gen AI developer, and all the, the safety and security guardrails built in by the large language model developers. So I'm going to copy and paste in this dummy uh, example uh, prompt injection. And so in this case, we've got exactly the same uh, request. Uh, but this time we've added in what looks like a string of random uh, letters um, and, and words. But the funny thing is that works as jailbreak and actually bypasses the security and safety guardrails built into the model and causes it to um, give a, a perfect response according to the user. And obviously something as the um, application owners, we don't really want to happen. Uh, in this case, it was about buying a gun illegally, but actually the user could replace this uh, with kind of any request that they want and the large language will, model will comply regardless of your system instructions or the built-in safety guardrails. So how can we defend ourselves against this? Uh, well, we've integrated Lakira Guard under the hood. Um, you just integrate with our API, just a couple of lines of code. And what we're doing is you would pass to us uh, the user input, so the text the user puts in, Send that to Lakira Guard, we'll screen it for a whole bunch of different types of threats and let you know if we detect anything. And then once you've got the LLM output, again, you send that to us, we'll screen it again, make sure that nothing bad's coming out of the large language model and uh, protect you that way. And that forms a kind of protective uh, firewall um, in the kind of runtime that protects the application against any malicious users or potential threats. So now if I enter that same prompt injection again, uh, that text is going to be sent to Lakira Guard. Um, we're going to run it through him. And in this case, you see we flagged it as a uh, detection. And um, then you can show the user a warning message or block them or, or respond accordingly. So what does that look like under the hood? So um, we've got here is the platform um, where you can see here that we've had a whole load of different requests, screening requests, detected a whole bunch. Um, got a high detection rate because it's a demo application. Um, but if we dig into the details of the requests, so you can see here some are absolutely fine, others we found threats. But if I look at the latest uh, requests, so this is uh, the text the user uh, input I just uh, we just screened. And you can see here that we've run 12 checks in this case, but it could be um, 16 uh, are built in and you can add as many custom detectors on top of that that you like. Um, and so we've run those checks and, and detected that there is a prompt injection and you can block that and stop the user trying to manipulate the model um, to do nefarious things. Um, all of this is customizable. You can create a policy for Lakira Guard um, to define your defenses and the configuration of them for screening both the inputs and the outputs. So we offer prompt defense to stop things like prompt ejections, jailbreaks, other kinds of ways of manipulating the model. Um, data uh, leakage prevention, so prevent uh, personally identifiable information uh, being leaked either to the model or out of it. Um, content moderation, so make sure no harmful content or the users aren't saying anything offensive. And also um, checking the output for unknown links. So that could be a malicious phishing link that the model has been tricked into showing your users. Um, and so yeah, you can choose which um, defenses you want to activate um, and also choose the sensitivity. So um, be more aggressive or less aggressive uh, as and when needed. Uh, all of that can be done with a few clicks of a button. And so, yes, it's super easy to integrate uh, and then you can protect you and your users. 
If you want to find out more, just go to lakira.ai where you've got loads of content on AI threats and how to secure against them. And you can also get started with Lakira Guard today for free. Um, it just needs integrating with a few lines of code and you can start protecting your Gen AI application or book a demo with our team and we'll happily answer any questions that you have. Thank you very much.